This is my Piaggio BV250 scooter, and I'm going to give you my opinion of it. I have owned it for four months now, and I've ridden it for 3,000 kilometers. I got it from a bankrupt dealer where it sat unsold for eight years in an abandoned showroom. The only issue with purchasing it at this age is the windshield is missing. I'm sort of lost at the, the abandoned dealership, and everything else is just fine with it. My favorite feature is the noise level. The muffler does a great job and this is the quietest bike I've ever been on. The engine vibrates a little at idle, but the bike is vibration free at any speed over 10 kilometers an hour, with no vibration in the seat or handlebars. Acceleration to 100 kilometers an hour is great and it has no trouble at all keeping up with traffic, even on the freeway. I estimate the top speed to be over 130 kilometers an hour. The brakes do a great job of stopping the bike. The suspension and large wheels provide a nice smooth ride that cushions bumps well. Steering is light and responsive. The seating position is great for taller riders with plenty of legroom. The seat is wide and flat and can be ridden for hours in comfort. However, this ridge at the back of the seat is rather irritating and I would prefer if it sloped back more as it hits me in the ass with every bump if I sit back in the seat. Filling with gas is awkward and I often spill some gas due to the position of the filler. Mileage is 25 to 30 kilometers per liter but it requires premium gas so it costs more. The mirror gives a great view to the rear however they are of a poor design as this nut here comes loose at least once every two weeks and when that comes loose then the mirror flops around and you have to stop, get off and tighten it. I have to carry a, a wrench in the trunk just for that purpose. Underseat storage is somewhat small and will not hold a helmet. This rack at the back is next to useless and is small and it has no tie down hooks so I've never actually been able to put anything on it. The oil drain plug is on the wrong side of the bike and the bike has to be held by hand to drain the oil out. The bike has only had one problem so far. There is a coolant leak, as we can see here, but it only leaks after the engine has been turned off and cooled for two hours or so. The leakage is about a spoonful per ride, so I'm not too worried about it. I can just put more fluid in until I get a chance to figure out what's going on. In conclusion, I really like this bike and I definitely would consider buying another one. Dang, it says I can't carry pets in here. But I suppose putting babies in here is still okay. <laughs>